Hey everyone, how's it going? What is up? It's uh, me, it's Ross, it's the Minifig Guy, it's Friday, and I'm uh, doing a vlog. Just got finished watching WandaVision episode three. It was definitely my favorite of the three episodes thus far, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. And uh, yeah, that's, so I'm probably gonna be putting the, <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be putting together those reactions, the first three into one video, um, and then posting those pretty shortly. So you probably will have already seen that video go up here on the second channel by now. But otherwise, I'm working on the Mandalorian season two customs, go figure. And uh, yeah, I've gotten the base color for Ahsoka, painted on now really can't see it from this angle i'm too lazy to reach over to adjust the focus and then also boba fett who i'm working on um and i have since painted pretty much the entirety of his helmet aside from the scratches and i've been installing a little tiny drilled holes into the gauntlets by nate's minifigs that i have to paint and uh just a ton of work but it's it's good work it's 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 mandalorian season two work and mandalorian season two still makes me happy so it's okay and um yeah that's about it. What else happened since the last time I vlogged? Oh yeah, there's a new president that happened. And, uh, yeah! Later. Alright, so I have been working on Boba so much more than Ahsoka this week. I just could not resist the urge to finally get to work on the character. However, I also did get even more parts in from Nate's minifigs. So you can kind of see Boba in the background there. He's coming along really, really well. But as you can see in this latest package from Nate, I got in the new Din Djarin jetpacks, which I am very excited about because I mean, while I do really like the original jetpack that I used from Tuminio on my custom Din Djarin, I am looking forward to updating it with a slightly more accurate version here. So that is really exciting. And then also, as you can see over here, I've got another Boba Fett helmet, some more Boba shoulder pads and armor pieces for him, but also this really cool Tron set. Now I'm actually a huge fan of Tron Legacy, especially after I sort of reimbursed myself in that universe following the release of the 2018 set a couple years ago. And this was so unexpected between the Tron armor pieces and now the Noble Team Halo Reach pieces that he's working on. I just am so excited for all of his upcoming 3D printed parts. These are so fantastic and I absolutely am looking forward to painting up a quick Tron figure at some point in the future. But also back here, I am basically set for life on pouches. I mean like, look at this. These are all connected to some sprues and I uh, don't think I have to worry about using 3D elements or uh, rubber or you know my usual materials to make pouches for like a very long time as I've got so many here now. Uh, again, printed by Nate. So huge, huge thanks to him. I have just uh, pretty much got a full arsenal of Nate's minifigs accessories at this point. The link to Nate's store will be down in the description as always, but I did get this, that. No, that in the mail. And this is the Gentle Giant Anakin Skywalker bust, which is of course a companion piece to the Obi-Wan, which came out first. And there will be an Ahsoka season seven bust coming out later on in the summer too, to complete the set. And I've had this one on pre-order since like, I don't know, May or June. And so to finally have these two produced and in hand for my Siege of Mandalore shelf is just super, super cool. And I took Astar Bricks custom Ahsoka and I put her on a Hasbro hollow table with a quick little brick arm stand and I gave her the Firestar Toys printed head instead. And yeah, the Siege of Mandalore shelf is definitely expanding. One more collectible I just gotta show you guys. Check this out. Black Series Jar Jar Binks. I think I might be one of the last collectors on Earth to be getting this guy finally, but I am so excited to have the Black Series Jar Jar. This one has been rumored and like sort of getting delayed by Hasbro in their production since like 2019 around celebration time. So it has been a long time since uh, we, you know, we first heard about this figure coming. And now after the pre-orders went up last year, he's finally in production. He's here and uh, Jar Jar is finally joining up the Black Series. And this is just so cool. And a lot of people don't like how he's sort of expressionless. I personally don't mind. I think the figure looks great. I love the Gungan shield and uh, everything included here. So I am just so excited that this is officially a thing and that Jar Jar is now a Black Series figure. I've actually always been a Jar Jar fan and never really find that he actually pulls me out of the experience when watching The Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones or any of his appearances. So 
Yeah. And now in addition to Jar Jar, actually Moff Gideon did just come in the mail as well, which is definitely really cool. The likeness here to Giancarlo Esposito is really solid. I've been looking forward to this one ever since it was revealed and Hasbro Pulse finally got it out here. So this is really awesome and I can't wait to add it to my Mandalorian shelf. But that's really gonna do it for this week's vlog, guys. I am gonna get back to work on Boba Fett as soon as this vlog is edited and uploaded and uh, yeah, then I'm going to be heading for the first teaser photo of my custom Boba Fett. And then similarly to the Bo-Katan preview photo, like immediately after, will be a progress video on him coming up pretty soon here uh, this week. Hopefully, definitely this week, actually. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a few days. Been uh, putting some good paint work into him, and I can't wait for you guys to uh, see the progress that I've made thus far in a proper preview photo and update video so on that note guys i will catch you guys uh next week so uh stay safe out there guys uh keep creating and uh take care